Hello everyone, you're Royce here and welcome to our channel Sensei Video 101. So for this episode, we're going to do some unboxing of a uh, one of the uh, Sensei Vieras that are uh, seldom found to be sold in the market. In fact, uh, I had a hard time trying to acquire one. So uh, they're known as uh, Pemba species and... Um, this is what uh, Miss Fifis uh, told me. She's a friend from Indonesia, and uh, she told me that we are very lucky to uh, be able to grow Pemba in our collection because uh, the original place wherein the species were found are probably uh, now extinct or converted into settlements. Uh, the uh, area that they all they grew in are being converted so most of the sensitive areas that are found there uh, are no longer in the area so we're luck lucky uh, to be able to uh, grow sensitive species Pemba uh, in our collection and by the way uh, I might have said or plates uh, a different name when I uh, uploaded Pemba type 1 but it was uh, a person named Obati uh, Batista, but Batista uh, that uh, he was the one who sent uh, Pemba type 1 to 4 to Miss Fafi uh, in Indonesia and in turn I indirectly uh, acquired the plants uh, from uh, Miss Fafi so what I have right now is Pemba type 2 although uh, this didn't directly come from Miss Fafi it came from uh, someone from Indonesia so um, what we'll do now is uh, we, we will uh, unbox uh, this uh, Sensiviria so I'm trying to look for uh, my cutter where is uh, which is not here so I'll probably just use uh, the twister to uh, open it by the way this box uh, is 17 inches by 10 inches so that is the uh, how big this box is so we will I'll probably uh, be back in a second because I'll get uh, a cutter for me to uh, open the box easier Alright folks, I'm back and uh, we found our cutter uh, to make our lives easier in opening the box. Uh, by the way, uh, this was in transit for about a week so uh, from Indonesia to the Philippines. Uh, I'm not sure if the plant is doing well so uh, this is one way of uh, perhaps uh, showing proof that uh, upon opening the box the plant plants or the plant is okay so I'm looking for uh, where oh sh I cut my finger so uh, anyway it's hard to find uh, where the tapes are uh, packing the box together so uh, I'll probably have to deal with this one and luckily I have uh, antiseptic available <laughs> alright folks so I guess we can uh, actually there are two uh, sensory species that are found in here one is sensory uh, species from Pemba and it's the type 2 and like I said Pemba type 2 uh, was the hardest for me to acquire among the uh, Pemba type uh, species 
and then the other one is also a rare species of Sansevieria, but we're not going to focus on it. Uh, I'll perhaps feature it some other time, but right now what we'll do is we'll figure out if the plants are doing okay after uh, traveling from Indonesia to uh, the Philippines because uh, I, th I think it took about one to two weeks from Indonesia uh, going into uh, Philippines for uh, us to receive it. So I um, managed to get the tape and uh, I guess this two leaf is uh, it says Pemba but I, I think uh, this is Pemba so um, let's try to open it I think there was an error in tagging it I think this is the uh, Kirky species known as uh, Bumba, I think. I'll have to recheck. Uh, th this is one of the rarer uh, Kirky species, so uh, people might mislook it as a common copper tone that is uh, very readily sold in the market, but uh, this is Bumba. And this is uh, one of the rarest, uh, rarer uh, Kirky eye species, and uh, they are only uh, seldom found to be sold in the market. So uh, it isn't a question of ha having money to buy it; it's the question of uh, having the avail availability to find. Uh, rare species such as uh, the one that I'm holding right now, which is a uh, Kirky eye species. And uh, this Kirky, uh, Kirky eye species is found in uh, Vumba. So uh, I'll have to uh, research it, and like I said, uh, I'll have to um, feature it some other time. When I start to feature some uh, rarer uh, Kirky eye species that uh, I acquired. All right, so all right, so uh, I managed to remove the uh, tape or the tissue that is uh, used to uh, wrap around the plant. And uh, I'll use uh, hydrogen peroxide to uh, rejuvenate the root rooting system because it has been in the box for I think two to three weeks. So uh, it's doing fine. In fact, there's a new uh, growth in the uh, rhizome, and uh, I think uh, Sensiviria. Turkey eye species uh, type collection Vumba uh, will be just fine. So uh, I'll set this, uh, self set aside Vumba for now because we will be discussing about Pemba type two. All right. So by the way, uh, this is how my hand looks like. I can uh, recycle the tissue to wipe off the iodine solution that uh, I used to cut off my own fingers with wasn't uh, very careful in uh, using the blade and cutting the back uh, the, the tape on the boxes so uh, again this is one of the rare rarer uh, Pemba species and uh, like I mentioned they are still not named as a species itself, so right now they are just known uh, with the uh, type location, which is they are found in Pemba, Mozambique. So uh, among the Pembas, like I mentioned, this is type 2. Uh, I already acquired type 3 and type 4 uh, before I, I, I got to uh, get a... Uh, a chance to have the type 2 of the Pemba uh, species or the, the species that are found in Pemba 
this is how the uh, back of the leaf looks like it's uh, really silvery but it is more banded compared to type 1 so Pemba type 1 I've already um, featured on the channel right now uh, I, I'm not able to go through type 3 and type 4 because I didn't have type 2 but now I have type 2 and uh, I can go through featuring type 3 and type 4 right after I feature uh, Sanchevia Pemba type 2. So Pemba type 2, uh, if you feel through the back part of the leaf, it's uh, a bit rough. Uh, but not as rough as the Rugosifolias. The uh, front part of the leaf, they are kind of smooth to the touch. So the back part is uh, rough slightly rough uh, we'll check the root system this is how uh, the color of the root looks like it's uh, the, the root uh, or the rhizome of Centuria Pemba type 2 is orangey in color and uh, the petiole or the, the base part of the leaf they're actually uh, kind of purple in color so um, it's still curled up as of the moment it is because like I said, it has been in transit for about two to three weeks. So um, what we'll do is again have uh, the hydrogen peroxide spray on the uh, leaf or, or sorry the uh, rhizome of the plant to uh, rejuvenate the uh, rhizome before planting it. So actually I have uh, pre prepared the uh, pot for it the usual pot that I use uh, use in uh, use for species uh, so there you go uh, we'll just get rid of the tissues that were used to wrap uh, wrap the plant and then uh, this is how the bottom of the uh, pot looks like I have placed uh, pumice and some uh, carbon. Uh, th there are parts of carbon filter that I uh, broke down because uh, we are using a carbon filter uh, on our water uh, water uh, refilling station. So um, every time that we uh, do maintenance and we change the, the carbon filters, I would uh, uh, take that filter and break it down and uh, recycle it, put them on the bottom part of the uh, potting mix that I use. And uh, here is our plant and we will be setting it aside for now and we'll fill out fill out the pot uh, fill it out halfway so it be easier for us to position the plant uh, So there you go um fill it halfway through so it'd be e easier for us to push in the plant so that it can uh, balance itself so this is how we'll plant it uh, this is how deep it will be planted so perhaps i can uh, add some more because i don't want to uh, bury the plant deeper because it's uh, in danger of rotting out when you uh, plant uh, your sensibilia is very deep so uh, if they're, they have not a rooted uh, uh, or they're not having stable rooting yet it's uh, my advice is to not plant it very deep so that the uh, the newly uh, potted sensibilia would be able to uh, breathe it's closer to the surface rather than uh, burying it deeper um, in your pot so uh, I think that's uh, a good uh, measure of how uh, deep it's planted we'll see if uh, it can stand on its, on its own because um, we'll sprinkle some of the uh, this is called the systemic uh, pesticide so it will take care of anything that uh, will try to uh, pest uh, or will, will try to suck on the plant especially the pest 
uh, it will uh, the systemic pesticide will go inside a plant or in inside the system of the plant that's why it's called systemic pesticide and then uh, any pest that would try to uh, uh, try to predate the plant will uh, come immediately uh, before it can do some uh, damage so uh, that's one of the precautions that I uh, usually do when I plant uh, centivirus that are very rare or very uh, uh, important uh, to me. So I make sure that uh, I uh, sprinkle some systemic pesticides for the plant to be protected from any kinds of pests that would try to uh, try to damage a plant or infest the plant. So. Uh, that's one way of uh, making sure that the plant stays healthy is to uh, use systemic pesticides on them. So I would uh, highly recommend those that uh, would be uh, in uh, granule shape because in time uh, when, when you try to uh, water them, they uh, will, they're soluble, they will uh, dilute uh, but not uh, one time they will dilute every time you try to water them so uh, it would take about months uh, two to three months for uh, the plant to be protected from any uh, types of pest so uh, we'll finish up filling the pot because we've already uh, sprinkled some uh, systemic pesticide on it I think it's uh, stable on its own so by the way the potting mix uh, is again uh, almost 70% uh, is uh, pumice then uh, the rest would be compost uh, rice hulls and uh, I, I, this are already uh, a ready, ready mix uh, compost that I uh, we buy here uh, and uh, it's composed of rice hulls some uh, manures of uh, maybe cow manures or something uh, that is mixed with it and uh, some uh, carbon uh, that's al also uh, mixed uh, with uh, the uh, compost so uh, now that it we're done I, I think it can uh, stand on its own so one other thing that I do is I put in small uh, stones on top that is to make sure that they stay standing and when I water them uh, the compost would not uh, flow out of the pot because uh, the stones are uh, putting them in place or uh, holding them in place uh, since when I sometimes when I water them I water uh, by drenching the whole pot or sometimes I put them out in the rain wherein uh, they get uh, rainwater for uh, watering so uh, if you don't uh, have stones on top of your mix then for sure that every time you water them or um, if rain comes uh, all of the uh, some of the rice holes would uh, flow out of the pot so the the stones help in keeping them in place as well as it deters uh, stray cats from digging into your pot because they can't see uh, the soil mix that you uh, placed on your uh, Sanchevieria so uh, folks were done and uh, those are some tips that I have uh, shared with all of you. Uh, once again, this is uh, Centivir Pemba type 2, and it is the hardest of uh, the Pemba species uh, for me to ac acquire. Uh, in my experience, um, type 1 is easy to find now, uh, type 3, um, not uh, that hard but uh the the hardest ones to find are type 2 and type 4 so there you go we're done with the pemba type 2 uh we have uh, uh described the uh, leaf texture of the plant 
uh, this is how tall Pemba Type 2 is for now. It's uh, 13 inches, maybe 14 because we have uh, buried the plant uh, a bit further. So you, that, that would be 14 inches. And then uh, I don't have the other tool, but the leaf width I would say is 2.5 of an inch. But this is uh, only uh, this is a juvenile specimen, so I'm not sure uh, how wide uh, Pemba Type Two uh, can become. But uh, I guess in the future uh, I will be giving you an update the moment that it. Um, is it has un uh, uncurled because right now it's still dehydrated it has not received watering for several weeks in transit so right now uh i'm trying uh, i have just repotted it uh, i would allow uh the plant to uh stabilize for a few days before i start watering it um what i, I do is i just usually spray uh, hydrogen peroxide to rejuvenate uh, the plant I spray uh, uh, somewhere close to the, the base of the plant that is because uh, hydrogen peroxide promotes rooting and rejuvenates the, the, the rhizomes of uh, Sansevieria so uh, that's another tip for you um, once again this is how the uh, Pemba type 2 looks like that's the uh, back part. It's very silvery, and uh, you can see that there are bandings that are uh, very uh, visible or clear uh, to see. And that uh, maybe I can uh, get the camera and focus it. Uh, like I said, it's still curled up because it uh, has yet to re recover recover from uh, the transit or the ship the the days we're in it's in shipment this is uh, the front part I can't really uh, it's uh, hard to discuss because it's uh, curled up right now but I'll try my best so you can see that uh, between it and Pemba, uh, Pemba type 1 Pemba type 1 is a uh, very silvery in color Pemba type 2 you can see that the bandings are really thick and dark um, the uh, base coloration is not silvery it's uh, brownish in color as compared to Pemba type uh, 1 uh, we'll discuss the differences of the Pemba types from 1 to 4 as I uh, feature type 3 and type 4 um, by the next episodes but right now that is all that I can uh, discuss to you uh, Pemba type 2 has very evident bandings and their dark green color. The base coloration is not silvery but brownish in coloration. That is how uh, Pemba type 2 uh, leaf tip looks like. Aside from that though, I have nothing more to add. The sides of the leaf though, you can see that there are uh, edgings on them. There are reddish edging, edgings. Aside from that, uh, I have nothing to add uh, as for the characteristics of Pemba type 2 but they're um, as it recovers and I hopefully I uh, really wish that it does so we can perhaps uh, feature it again in the future when it's uh, clumped up on the spot or has grown with the, the, the leaves uh, open it opened up instead of curling so uh, uh, folks I guess this is it for this uh, episode if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to uh, leave a comment down below and uh, if you like what I have presented um please like and subscribe to the channel uh i would really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed the video or uh, you enjoyed watching the video um this is it for this video thank you for watching and uh you folks have a great day